If you have cancer, it's not that I don't have drugs that can't kill the cancer. Like, it's really easy to kill a cancer cell. I could walk in my house and grab 50 chemicals that could kill every cancer cell in your body. The problem is they would kill every cell in your body. So the whole game in cancer is differential killing. How do you selectively kill the cancer cell while sparing the normal cell? And if you look at any cancer strategy, that's what it's trying to do. So we wanna create differences between cancer and non-cancer cells that we can exploit with therapy. In this sense, nutrition becomes another tool that we can use to create a difference through this mechanism, right? So in the context of nutritional deprivation, healthy cells devote energy towards maintenance and repair instead of growth, which allows them to resist damage from chemotherapy and radiation, which therefore reduces side effects. Now, tumor cells instead are unable to slow down growth due to the mutations in the tumor suppressor genes, which make them more susceptible to cancer treatments. So there are, there are a couple of clinical trials that have shown that water-only fasting for at least 24 hours reduces the side effects during chemo. But it's important to understand that when you reduce the side effects of chemo, it allows you to typically use more chemo, right? So, so you can tolerate it more. And many times a patient is unable due to the side effects to go through the, the completion of the chemotherapy. So that in and of itself is really beneficial. There's a pretty cool figure. We'll put it in the show notes that kind of explains what's happening between normal cells and cancer cells if they're both fed normally and if they're calorie restricted. For people going through cancer, if you had patients going through, is it something that you would recommend they think about doing? 